The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome to The David Pakman Show. I'm David Pakman. A little bit later on, we'll be speaking with a former chaplain, Navy chaplain, Gordon Klingenschmidt. He's been on the show before, and I promise it will be an incredible interview. Is that fair to say, Lewis? Yeah. Would you describe it as incredible or something else? Well, hmm. We'll I, wait I guess and see. In, incredible's the word, yeah. We'll let we'll let the audience editorialize what it is that happened. I was in Miami for a few days and on my flight down I decided I didn't want the porno scanner and I ended up opting for a por- porno pat down essentially. And I actually I don't even know where to begin. My plan was I didn't we've talked about the whole radiation thing, so I was like, you know what? I just don't want I don't want the the scanner. And I tried to convince my girlfriend to opt out also. She just said she doesn't want to start any trouble. She's getting the scanner. Right. So then I said, okay, I'm going to give you my cell phone camera. You go through. I'm going to opt out. And then you film what it is. Film my pat down because it would be great if I could get video of it. Mm -hmm. She wasn't having any of it. She thought it was illegal to film, even though I looked it up. And you can legally film these checkpoints as long as you don't interfere. So I was basically on my own. So I actually, right before... You know how you have these bins? You need a bin for your laptop. You need a bin for your shoes. You need a bin for all other stuff. Right. Your belt has to be off. There's all these bins, right? Mm-hmm. So before putting my phone down, I started the recording. And the phone did capture a bunch of different stuff. I'm going to get to all the details of the pat down. It is incredible. I have not told Lewis just to get his honest reaction as to what it is that took place. So first, I let's just look at a little bit of this video. Um, I'm going to keep the volume kind of low on it. So as you can see here, I'm just scrambling. It's not great, but it's at least something. There I am. So I'm looking down. This is a top-down view. I'll pause it. I'm wearing glasses, a big sweatshirt, but that is me. This hasn't been sped up. This is actually how fast I rip everything out of my pockets and throw it into those bins. Here I'm taking my belt off, toss that in. So our, our TV audience is seeing all this. So I'm just doing this as quick as I can, right? A woman comes over, and I'm going to move the video forward to that part. And she pops her head in and she starts, here she is, we see her in the corner. She starts talking to me about, I can't even have dollar bills in my pockets. She assumes I'm going through the scanner. You're going to have to strain to hear this, and I apologize. But at one point I say, and I don't want the scanner. And then she says, oh, you're opting out. Let's, I'll, I'll play it. Hopefully, it'll be as clear to you as it is in my memory. And then the noise. So what I said is, and I don't want the scanner. Is it even, I'm able to hear it because I know it's there. Is it hard to hear what's going on there? Pretty hard to hear. Let's just try it once more just to get, I'm telling you, this is what happens. And she literally, they have like a whole protocol. She has one of these radios. He's like, oh, you're opting out. We have one opt out here, one opt out, speaking into it, like yelling for a, a special guy to come over. Okay, we'll get to that guy. Let's just see if we can hear exactly what happened. So that's that. So they put me into like this little, it's almost like a cattle holding cell. Like there's just a couple little walls and I just am forced to stand in there. And lo and behold, it takes a few minutes. The guy comes over. He's going to be doing the pat down. Okay. Stretches on the rubber gloves, snap. I mean, literally like if you were in a doctor's office. Right. Before, you know, a DRE. Mm -hmm. And... He says he'll be doing the pat down for me to follow him over, and he's going to be checking all of my areas, including my private areas, and that if, uh, if at any point I become uncomfortable, he's glad to take it private, right? So similar to a strip club, if you don't want everything happening just in the main area, they're glad to bring you to a, a private room. Exactly. <laughs> okay. This is a federal agent of some kind, ladies and gentlemen. This is an airport, okay? There's people everywhere. So the guy starts, first he tells me to put my arms out to my sides, and uh, that, uh, that's the, the first part. And I do that, but he needed my palms up, right? So the normal thing would be to turn them in this direction, which I'm demonstrating now so that they would be up. He didn't want that. He actually took my arms and, and folded them up this opposite way. So right away, I'm basically hunched over right. at this point, okay? I have no belt on, remember, because I've taken that off. So he first just starts running his hands all over my arms into my armpits, and I'm like, you know, that's a little ticklish. Mm-hmm. Takes it very seriously. Nothing I can do about that. Very serious guy that's doing these porno pat-downs. Then 
He starts, this is just, I can't even describe this. He gets down almost to like my waist level, okay? And he sticks his hands between my jeans and my underoos, okay? Underoos? And he starts circling around me and shaking out my pants, almost like he was- Like something's going to fall out of him? (laughs) I don't know if that was it. He was basically like airing out my shorts. Yeah. Okay. Just shaking and shaking. And at this Uh point, I have a grin on my face like a madman because this is just the most hilarious thing. My girlfriend's about 20 feet away. She's in shock. Mm -hmm. Okay. People are just going by, looking over, wondering what's going on. I can't stop laughing at this point because it's just, it's so absurd, ladies and gentlemen, what we're subjected to here at these airports. And then he says, I'm not taking it seriously enough. He threatens to call a supervisor if I don't start taking it more seriously. Wow. A a federal agent is hunched down around my genitals, shaking out my pants. And I'm the one who's not taking it seriously (laughs) enough because I have a grin on my face. And this is all, it's all for security, of course. Right. Right. Mm. And he continues. And then eventually he puts his hands, he he puts the back of his hand down. He starts on either cheek Mm -hmm. and he goes down. Then he comes around to the front and he does the opposite. And he makes it very clear he's going to have to move his hands up until he meets resistance. Right. And at that point, <laughs> believe me, there was resistance. And uh, and that was that. He did that. He, I, I calmed down. I Actually, there is one other exchange I had. I said, you know, I could just, I could get down to less clothes if it would make it easier for you. And at this point, he looks me in the eye. You can tell he's thinking, do I need to call a supervisor or am I just going to let this guy go? And he says, I'd have to do the same thing. And I'm thinking, if my leg was completely bare, other than boxers, you would have to run your hand down the entire bare leg to be sure there's nothing there. And after that, he just scanned his hands and then he told me I was free to go. Mm. Porno pat down. I mean, I can't even imagine what the people that were walking by seeing this guy with his hands shaking out my pants. It's it's a bizarre thing to do. We're safer because the guy shook my pants out and forced air into my into my area. Well, I think. How is this security, Lewis? I don't know, but the moral of the story is don't laugh when yeah. when the TSA agent is uh, shaking your junk. I wasn't serious enough. You have to be really serious when federal agents are shimmying around you, <laughs> airing out your pants. You know, that's don't you, laugh. It Just really, don't laugh. You really need to be serious in those situations. I'm gonna have to deal with this very <laughs> soon because I re- I'm gonna refuse to take the scan. I'm going to opt out. Oh, you're also going to do it. Because I do not want to get irradiated, so I'm going to have to take the pat down. On, his, on the way back, I basically committed to just, I'm, I, I was so exhausted from, I had to extend the trip because of snow. It was a long story. And I said, I'm just going to, I'm going to do the, I'm going to get irradiated. I don't care. And by chance on the way back at Miami airport, they just sent me through a metal detector. Hmm. I just didn't get, I didn't get the scanner. I didn't get a porno pat down. Nobody, <laughs> nobody aired out my pants. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what the logic is. On a serious note, I timed, because I had this video recording, I was able to time how long this all took. My girlfriend was next in line, right? So I started it when she went through the the porno scanner. And when I stopped the recording, seven minutes had elapsed, right? So the waiting time and the the, uh, airing out of my pants and all of that and tickling my armpits took about seven minutes total. If everybody opted out, can you even imagine, even if 10, 10% opted out, it would single-handedly delay hundreds of flights, thousands probably nationally, if 10 or 15% of people opted out of the porno scanner. Seven minutes it took for the guy to come over, taking his time, stretch the rubber glove on, starting to rub me uh, all over. Seven minutes. A few hundred people do that. You do the math, Lewis, as to how long, how much this would delay air So travel. hold on, hold on. How long was the actual pat-down itself? I think From when I probably, he started touching you to when he stopped touching you. I probably waited. I think of the seven minutes, three and a half was waiting, and three and a half was the, the enhanced uh, pat-down of my stimulus package. But it's, uh, it's not unreasonable to think that someone could wait 10, 15 minutes for this expert to show up if he's at some other area of the airport. That's right. Doing... This was a, not a huge airport. One other guy opted out in front of me. It took a few minutes. This was, way, this was 10 minutes before. I was still 10 minutes back. And then this guy left. Presumably he went to another checkpoint. He apparently is the male pat-down expert. He makes sure everybody is very serious, no smiling going on when you're having your pants aired out. And I don't know. I guess I guess that's what it is. Well, there you have it. That's my pat-down story.
Maybe I'll have one too. You're opting out for sure. I'm going to opt out. All right. And the whole scene, I mean, it was just all very serious. I don't want the scanner. We have an opt out here. I need a, I need a mail. We have a mail opt out. He is in the corral. We need you over here right away. And the guy just showed up taking his time. No rush there. There are no schedule other than their own at these airports. Of course. 